heat and temperature. Introduction When we rub our palms, they become warm. If we rub two pieces of iron or stone, they become warm. The saw which is used for cutting the wood becomes warmer during action. In all these cases, mechanical energy is converted into heat energy in overcoming friction. Heat can also be converted into other forms of energy. Thermal expansion of solids. Take an iron ball and a ring, such that the ball just passes through the ring as shown in figure A. Now, heat the ball. And you will find that the ball does not pass through the ring, figure B. Why is this so? When the ball is heated, it expands and its size increases. After some time, when the ball cools, it will again pass through the ring. This activity shows that solids expand on heating and contract on cooling. Expansion of bimetallic strip Take two strips of equal length, one of iron and the other of brass, and join them by riveting together. On heating this bimetallic strip, you will find that it bends as shown on figure. It bends because of unequal expansion of brass and iron. This activity shows that the brass strip expands more than the iron strip. Uses of Thermal Expansion of Solids in fixing iron rims on the wooden wheels, the iron rim of a bullock cart wheel is made slightly smaller than the wooden wheel. The rim is heated as a result of which it expands. While still hot, the rim is fitted on the wooden wheel. When the rim cools, it contracts and fits tightly on the wooden wheel. In the railway track, when a railway track is laid, a small gap is always left between two sections of a railway line so as to give some space for them to expand during summer. If no gaps are left, the lines may bend and cause derailment of trains. In bridges, bridges with long steel girders have one end placed on roller to allow for expansion as shown in figure. If both ends are firmly connected, the bridge would twist and bend during summer. Expansion of gases in telephone and electric wire. Telephone and electric wires between two poles are never kept straight. They are kept loose in order to allow their expansion in summer and contraction in winter. In cemented floor. Cemented floor is not laid out in one piece because it may crack due to contraction in winter or expansion in summer. To avoid this, the surface is laid in small pieces by using glass strips in between. In thermostat, bimetallics are used to control temperature in the form of a device known as thermostat. Thermostats are used in fire alarms, refrigerators, automatic electric presses, electric ovens, room heaters, geysers, etc. To avoid cracking of glassware, you must have noticed that when hot water or tea is poured into thick glass tumbler, the glass tumbler often cracks. This is due to glass expanding rapidly from inside. The resulting strain cracks the glass. Today, we have a special type of glass like Pyrex, which can withstand great heat because it expands very little when heated and thus does not crack. When hot water is poured on the metal cap of a bottle, it causes the cap to expand. Therefore, the cap can be easily removed. Expansion of gases. Take an empty bottle. The bottle is not really empty. It is filled with air. Fix a balloon to its neck. As shown in figure, the bottle is then placed in a vessel containing hot water. You will find that the balloon gets inflated. Why is the balloon inflated? The reason is that the air in the bottle expands when its temperature rises. Take the bottle out of the boiling water and allow it to cool. When the air in the bottle is cooled, the balloon is deflated, showing that air contracts on cooling. This activity shows that gases expand on heating and contract on cooling. Thermos flask. It is a device that keeps liquids hot or cold for many hours. It is also known as vacuum flask or Dewar flask. The thermos flasks are used to carry coffee, 
juice, milk or soup. They are also used to store chemicals and drugs, to transport tissues and organs and to preserve blood plasma. This device was invented by Sir James Dever, a British chemist, who developed it for storing liquefied gases. The modern thermos flask blocks the three processes through which heat is transferred, that is, conduction and radiation. It has a double-walled glass vessel silvered from the inside. The main purpose of silvering it is to reflect back all the heat radiations. The space between the two walls is highly evacuated to prevent the loss of heat due to convection currents. The glass, being a very poor conductor of heat, minimizes the loss of heat due to conduction through the walls of the neck. The loss of heat radiations from the liquid is reduced by a well-fitted cork. The vacuum flask therefore keeps the cold contents cold and hot contents hot as it eliminates any heat transfer to or from the contents. Vacuum flasks vary widely in size, ranging in capacity from 60 millimeters to 60 liters. Most vacuum flasks have a small mouth that reduces heat exchange. A rubber collar in place and a spring at the base serves as a shock absorber.